Okay, so one of the knowledge areas that I'm going to draw out for you in the project management professional knowledge areas drawn out from the crowd, and this is going to be using the project management plan that I like to associate with a file cabinet, if you will, and one of the folders within the file cabinet really is the file cabinet itself. It's what keeps it all together, and that's integration management. And part of the integration management is to develop a project charter. So this is initiation, and it is the ideas, it's the conception of the ideas, the business plan, it's putting essentially what we're trying to do together and then actually making it official. So your output of develop project charter is the obvious project charter. You also need to develop a project management plan, which is, again, that file folder that I like to draw to illustrate a collection of all the projects that are integrated, that are all the project documents that you have. Your output, obviously, is going to be this project management plan and other planning documents. But from there, too, you need to direct and manage the project work. So you, using those plans, you plan them and output those plans to work, that means pretty much a lot of the time is really spent on when this is occurring in your project, but essentially you have to have all of those um, activities and work being done. So your outputs are going to be deliverables, maybe requests for changes, updates to how the project is going, or the plans, or the documents, the work performance data. Likewise, you're going to be monitoring and controlling how the work is being performed for your project. And that could mean changes, it could be oversight, it could just be watching how things go. It depends on, of course, the project. Uh, that could mean there's a need to change things, so there's a request for change. Sometimes it's just taking that data and making reports out of it. So how the project is or is not going according to plans, and then updating those plans and any other project documents accordingly. The last process here that we're going to talk about in the integration management is your perform integ integrate change control and in the uh, monitoring control knowledge area, I mean process group I should say, and that has the outputs of looking at those changes and approving or denying those changes, updating the project plan accordingly and the project documents as necessary as well as um, having a change log and having that change log updated. And the overall integration management one is the last one that we're going to talk about is the closed project or the closed phase. And these are all those activities that are necessary to formally close and, and complete the work. And your outputs are going to be a final product or service result, whatever your project phase was anything to do or what the project was attempting to do, as well as any updates to the organizational process at